Oh, I can hear the purring of the cat. Or is that the purr of a cat? It's kind of strange. Um, yeah, so anyways. <clears throat> Hopefully it connects in with some of the other games. We saw at the end of Lorelei, the cat lady is the lady who runs the liquor store and stuff. So they're connecting some bits of the games. Hopefully we can see more of that. Let's see. New game. I kind of know the controls already. Save often, be cautious. Most enemies will kill you with a single hit. Think twice before you say or do something. Your choices have consequences. It cannot be undone. For best experience, play with controller and headphones. I don't have a controller. There's actual combat in this game? There was never combat in the first... Maybe there was combat in Cat Lady. It doesn't count. You're kind of setting traps for people. Mm. Okay, that's kind of scary. I don't like that. I guess, uh, uh, you know, I say like, oh, it's it's not super spooky, but I do remember the times where I did get scared crapless with, like, the man bear pig dude. Ooh. I'm playing in the daylight. <laughs> Hi, Angie. It's Tracy from the agency. I have good news. A job's come up, and it's a big one, just like you wanted. It's a long drive, southwest, right in the middle of bloody nowhere, but it's just one elderly gentleman living on a farm. Early dementia symptoms, so it's all pretty standard. You'll need to do some light cooking, but nothing too crazy. You know the drill. His regular carer's off sick, and I need someone to keep an eye on the poor chap until she gets back. I'd go myself. It sounds like a lovely holiday in the country, but, you know, kids, and I'm stuck in the office, as always. But you'll love it there. I'm sure you will. Uh, Angie? I can't. Something's come up. I'm sorry. Fully voice act. Press A and D to walk. Ooh. I won't lie, the art style has gotten so much smoother compared to the older games. Like, look at that face. I won't lie, Lorelai was a little bit rough. <laughs> e to interact. No, the last thing I want is the coffee table breaking under my weight before I'm even ready. What? Examine picture. That's me and James on our wedding day. Why do I still have it? I should have thrown this away ages ago. Pick up picture. Okay, I didn't mean for you to drop the fucking thing. Shit. Glasses everywhere. Smoking an ashtray saves your progress. Was I supposed to do that? Why do you have a red light in your house? That's terrible. And what's with this eerie music? Stop! E. What? Why am I looking at that? No. 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 <laughs> That's why. Oh no. I'll just move it over here. Why not? Okay, fine. Y'all know where this is going, right? <sighs> of course, she was looking at the banister. There's no escaping it. What? It's a mirrored room. Press tab to open inventory. Oh, great! I already had the rope. That seems strong enough for the little old me. Okay. That's why she meant the, her weight under the- on the table. Cause she, oh my god. Is this allowed to be shown on Twitch? <laughs> oh, I have to. Come down. Yeah, yeah, don't don't do that. Let's see if there's something else I can do first. Wow. <gasps> there's no way out. This is the end. No escape. Do it. No escape. Do it. End the pain. Can I end on this side? Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> 
okay. Well, we're gonna end it on this side. This is the good side. What if I do it again? Okay, I was wondering if I was just gonna put more words to the point where I can't even see. This is so creepy. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Psych! More words. Give me more words. No, okay, I think I have to do it. I you mean, I have to try every option. Okay. These last two months have been the best months of my life. Will you marry me? A nurse falling in love with a patient? God, no. Oh, he was a patient. <laughs> Harvester Games presents... Marrying a dying man. I never understood why she did it. That's really sad. Japan? Are you kidding me? Of course I want to go. It, it's only like the best place on earth. <laughs> I'm afraid the patient is not responding to the treatment. We should start planning palliative care. April. That's perfect. We're gonna see the cherry blossoms. No. James really shouldn't be traveling in his current condition. Let him have fun before he dies. I'm sorry, but I can't allow it. A Michalski Brothers game. It's all right. We'll go once I'm done with this <sighs> fucking keeper. Angie. I'm sorry. He was... James was a great guy. And he died. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <gasps> It's a nasty cup, Angie. Should go have that locked out. Are you okay? You look a bit pale. I feel a bit sorry for her, but no one really said anything. I have bad news, Mrs. Weather. Worst, I'm afraid. It's lung cancer. My God! Late stages. But didn't her husband die of cancer last year? Both of them? What are the odds? Okay, I can- Maybe if we found it soon. Oof. But at this point, it's so far gone, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Mrs. Weather. We cannot cure your cancer. You have about six months left to us. Dude, there's something about really huge font that scares me. <laughs> a really shitty last few months of her life, that's for sure. Fuck. Tracy, I've changed my mind. I'll take that job. That's great. I'll be honest. I thought people would fight each other over those few weeks in Devon, but guess what? Nobody wants to go. The clean country air, the double pay. I mean, what's not to like? Am I going to try to off but myself there? It's all right. I've got my best nurse on the job now. It's all good. I, I know things have been hard for you. I'm glad you've changed your mind. It will be good for you to go out there and... Uh, Tracy, this is probably my last job. I just need to save up some money and then I want to travel for a bit. Go to Japan. See the cherry blossoms. Well, okay. You've not had a holiday abroad for years. By all means, go. But you'll be back, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sorry. Dark. I'll let you know when you get back home. Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chapter one. Don't let the cats in. Ooh. <laughs> A fancy white car. It probably belongs to the farmer's daughter. I'm supposed to be meeting her here. While walking, hold shift around. I've already been doing that. <laughs> Wait, I wanna. I can pet the goats? It's a sheep pen. Oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. I thought there were goats. Better keep the gate shut. Who knows what these sheep can do? I should probably say hello to the owners first. You must be Angie then. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Nothing life-threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Yes, it's a beautiful place indeed. Yes. It's a beautiful place indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? You should meet Dad. Come with me. He's in the lounge. This kind of old-timey, uh, cottage or cabin kind of farmhouse. Reminds me of my, uh, grandmother's house. It's pretty cool. Slightly haunted, though. There was a few ghosts. Must be the TV. Yep. Meet Angie, Dad. She's gonna look after you until Joyce Dad back. has a crick in his neck. Hello, dear. Hi. That's from the office. I should take it. <laughs> he looks like something from The Walking Dead. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Sam. No, I shan't be long. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. The house. I'll be back before five, half past tops. Uh, we're zooming oh, in on him. He always does that. Why are we zooming in on him? Yeah. See you soon. Ta-ta. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why oh, the zoom really in? strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. That was no freak. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good oh, old classics. Oh. Nothing too complicated. The truth is, he'd just eat sandwiches every day if he could. But don't let him do that. I would do that. I'll leave you a list <laughs> of his favorite. I love foods. sandwiches. Anything that's there, just help yourself. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days he still manages to dress on his own. My grandmother was able to and be on her own until she was like 99. Again, just watch him make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break a zip or something. Ooh. I had bad bathroom experiences with the last Dad game Lorelai. <laughs> you can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. 
And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Bruh, you have no Just lights in here? The cats in. What? They get too cozy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> That's a good thing. You love cats. Look at that cat. <laughs> I'm letting those cats in. The win the tail's already in the window. Hello? I love like the paper mache look to everything. It's so cute. And they made the cat look realistic too because it's real photo. On the kitchen table for you. Oh, thank you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. And please keep a close eye on George. I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments. Honestly, the job of a caregiver is so hard. Like, not just physically, but also emotionally. I, I don't know how people do it. And nurses, caregivers for the elderly, like, all of them. Just too hard. Let's save. She already has lung cancer. Why not smoke another? I wonder if there's a thing where, like, if you never save at all, like, there's a secret ending or something. But that would be a long game to play without saving. Big old wardrobe. If I ever need to hide a dead bot, there'll be room for at least two in there. Why did you- why would you say that? Am I gonna kill George? If I ever find something pretty, I can put it up on the shelf. Okay. A torch. Nights are always bright in the city, but here, in the country, it might be useful to have a torch with me just in case. Okay, pick it up. Flashlight, torch, you know how it goes. New item added. Oh, I have my tab. It should illuminate my path in dark spaces used to switch on off. Oh, shit, that's a face. Uh, just to make sure. Interact, run, inventory tab, dashes space while running. Aim weapon? Uh, oh, holy crap. Okay. Didn't know that was a thing. Oh, wow. Dude, you all need more lights in this house. It's locked. Bathroom? Oh, I saw that wardrobe and I immediately thought it was my room. Like, the one I... I killed myself in. <laughs> a hole in the wall. I can see the other room through it. Yeah? We'll take a bigger peek. I want to see. Examine. Looks like a hamster cage. I can't tell from down here if there's a hamster inside it. Probably not. Hmm. There's a hole in the door. I'm a curious, curious person, just saying. This must be his room? George's bed. Nothing fancy, of course. An old guy like George doesn't care much about the comforts of the modern world. Just another houseplant. It's an old suitcase covered in dust. It wouldn't feel right to look inside. It's most likely George's personal things. Okay, so this is George's room. Why is his wheelchair upstairs? I guess he doesn't need it downstairs? Oh, I guess I could have just gone in, so. Why? Just a room for a computer. Pressing the on button doesn't seem to do anything. That's creepy. I don't know, there's something weird about that. Oh, here's the bathroom. The bathroom sink. Clearly this is George's space. There are shaving utensils on the side and bits of hair everywhere. Step, 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 step. Downstairs. Oh, another bathroom. It's a bathroom sink. Okay, thanks. Examine. Looks pretty clean. I guess George uses the other bathroom upstairs. Open lid. Examine. Looks pretty clean, I guess. Okay. 
Use the bathroom. Your dress is still down. Um. He just tinkled on your dress there. <laughs> Examine. Oh, it is not clean. You just tinkled at it, Flush. Close it. Okay, well, uh, I used the bathroom. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get an achievement for that. <laughs> Games give you achievements for everything. Examine. It leads to the basement. Open door. Oh, shit. Go downstairs. We're going in the basement. Oh, new socks. That's a lot of new socks. Oh, shit. I can still see. Let's save the battery for later. A red blinking eye of the boiler. Ah, cool. It's the fuse box. It's locked. I'll need a tool to open it. There's a strange sound coming from the other side. It's locked. Fucking get out of here. <laughs> it's a family portrait. This little boy. Could it be George? And the girl. His older sister, perhaps? Boop. I don't know much about plants, but it's a nice plant, Cass. Empty wine bottles. They could be used as candle holders if I was a romantic type. Too bad I'm not. What? What is this? Oh, it's outside! It's the backyard! Just a random chair. <laughs> oh, it's the hamster! The hamster was dead! This looks like a dug up tiny grave. There's a slightly decomposed hamster inside it. Can I bury it? No. Okay, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to take it and use it for something later. Oh, locked. A shed, huh? Nice plant. It's an old CRT TV. You can't buy these nowadays. It's an urn. If I had to guess, I'd say it's holding ashes of George's late wife. It's probably better not to touch it. George seems completely focused on the TV. Anything good on Anything the telly? Good on the telly. Oh yeah, uh, it's uh, one of those um, American films. Ah. Ah. Right. Jersey Shore. <laughs> this a fucking ninety-year-old man watching Jersey Shore would be hilarious. <laughs> would you like a blanket? Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet, of you, dear. But no, thank you. He doesn't. I'm quite warm. Okay. Let's keep looking around. It's a big fern. You think that's a big fern? No, I'm just kidding. Oh shit! Take a can of twos. Take fancy tea box. Close cupboard. Hmm. Maybe later. At least I know it's there. Slightly rusty kitchen sink. Oh. I'll take it with me. Press tab to open guidebook. If you get lost, guidebook will always tell you what to do. Make a sandwich for George. Water the plants. Investigate door in the basement. Well, I technically already did that one. But it wants me to do it again. I can't see a dishwasher, so I'm guessing I'll have to wash everything old school style. That's fine. I do that sometimes. Pick up note. If the electrician comes by to collect the tools he left in the basement last week, please tell him I put his toolbox in the workshop outside, at the front yard. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. 
Check calendar. It's Tuesday, the 3rd of September. Thanks. Examine. Cooking isn't my strong suit, but old George doesn't really strike me as a fussy type. I'm just gonna keep looking around. Oh, this is the watering thingy. Pick it up. I'm gonna need that. Go look at these tools. Ooh! Ooh wee! Ooh! Examine. Gross! Some sick bastard could open this rat. But why? I don't know. Pull out the screwdriver. It's really stuck in there. Whoever did this must have been really strong. Oh, so I can't. Okay. Spiderwebs everywhere. Ugh, I hate the damn things. I love how it's a bigger word for hate. I like they're changing the font size up. Examine. It's a metal toolbox. I'm sure I could find something useful in there. Open. Take pincers. Take box cutter. Close toolbox. Can I use the pincer? No? Okay. I would have used another tool to get that out. You know, just get it in there, leverage it up. I'll save that rat in no time. It'll be good as new. Shit, that scared me. Can I do anything with the sheep? It's a sheep pen. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't have anything in my thing that tells me to, like, feed the sheep. You know? Okay. Let's go ahead and water the plants. Here we go. I think it said five plants. <laughs> One plant. Two plant. Oh, there's only four plants. I don't know what I'm going to use the box cutter or the pliers for, but <laughs> I have them. I don't like how the door just creaks, you know? That's kind of creepy. I should have closed that door. What if I did close that door? I don't think I did. That's the computer room. This is the hamster room. Which I'm still a little confused whose room that is. It must have been his wife's or something. Oh, wait, shit. I thought I heard someone whispering. Wait. Oh, that's right. She talks about the dead bodies in the closet. This girl's kind of creepy. Is it in his room then? Oh, wait, yeah, there's one in his room. It's empty already. Oh, sorry. My neighbors were leaving. <laughs> I didn't know what that noise was. I thought it was in the game. It scared me. Um, no, all the way over here. That's the bathroom. Oh, it's the wind. Okay. I ain't going back down to the sink. Fuck that. There's a sink right here. Nope, wrong room. This is the lonely computer room. I feel like I'm speed running almost with how fast I'm doing stuff. <sighs> I feel like I should save the basement thing for later. Let's just close this door for now. <laughs> Spooky. Okay. Uh, tab. Make a sandwich for George. Okay. Prepare meal. Bread. <gasps> I actually get to make it myself? Fuck yeah! Okay, let's do this! So we got bread. <laughs> Just a bread sandwich. Bread on bread. <laughs> Uh, ham, cheese, mayonnaise, tuna, egg, lettuce, mustard, tomato, pickle, strawberry jam, cucumber, bacon, sweet corn. Oh my goodness. Okay, first off, get some mayo on there. Like, I like mayo. Specifically, cupid mayo. Japanese mayo. 
I don't like um, American mayo. So let's put some mayo on there. Actually, uh, I, uh, England mayo was pretty good too, actually. <laughs> uh, egg sounds really good, but I'm not making it, I'm not making a egg sandwich right now. Uh, let's do some mustard. Let's throw a bit of lettuce on there. Get some greens in there. Oh, don't forget that tomato. Oh yeah. Mm. What? Oh shit, I'm only allowed... I'm only allowed three ingredients in the middle? Bruh, that's not a sandwich. Ugh, okay, fine. Bacon. Lattice. I'll do a BLT, mofo. Bread. You made a BLT sandwich. Oh, wait, take sandwich. <laughs> God, bacon sounds so good right now. <laughs> Sorry. Food in video games always make me hungry. Speaking of which, I want to take this stuff. Who knows when I'm going to need it, you know? It's one of those kind of games. He seems to be enjoying his sandwich. <gasps> George? New objective added. Fix the fuse. George didn't make a single peep. This happens to George all the time. Oh, that fucking fuse. Uh. <gasps> How did Sorry you get in front of me? <laughs> no, no, my dear. He scared the shit Good out night, of me. George. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to thank you for that sandwich. I really enjoyed it. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Joyce never makes him like that. It's always porridge or pasta or bloody marmalade on toast. She just won't listen. If you're still here come winter time, I'll buy you an orange for Christmas. Oh, thank you. He scared the shit out of me because I was not ex expecting him to be in front of me. Oh. That cutscene was like if the power was still on, I guess? Open door. Go downstairs. Fuck! Okay, fine. Ugh, fixing the fuse box! Why in every horror game? Every horror game! It's in the... Excuse my language. The bloody basement! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Open. It's locked. I need some tool to open it. Fucking pliers. That's not gonna work. Fucking knife. I don't want to cut it. I need that screwdriver. Also, it's a fuse box. Fuse box is- well, I guess I don't know when this one was made. I was gonna say, like, a fuse box that has the little black lever you just push in and it opens the door. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Okay, I need a tool. <gasps> Why'd that scare me? <laughs> Can I get this rat now, please? Pull out. Okay, how about this? Okay. Oh, wait. There we go. I had to actually use the item on the thingy. This screwdriver will need a good wipe. Why? <gasps> What should I wipe it on? What if I just wash it in the sink? Still covered in rat blood. Is it too dark? Uh, on the... That's better. No, I guess you can kind of see. It's pretty dark for me, that's for sure. Okay, I got the screwdriver. Let's go fix this fuse box. I'm an electrician. Right next to the scary spoopy door. Uh huh. Just keep whistling at me. It's fine. Okay. Nice. <gasps> Kitty! Oh. Hello again, little one. Oh, it has a key on it. 
I'm very curious. I'm very curious about that key on your neck. What's it for? Would you mind if I borrowed it? Money. Ah. Wait, I still have to examine Kitty? the thing. Oh, Kitty's gone. Don't leave me alone down here. Examine. Okay, I examined it. We're good. Oh, I accidentally skipped the text. Whatever that said. Kitty's inside the house, though. Close door. <laughs> you fuck that place. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Do we really want to play hide and seek? Come on, Kitty. Where are you? Are you in the creepy computer room? Nope. Bathroom? Nope. George's room? George, your feet are cold. He looks very peaceful. I personally would have covered him up a little bit more. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in this door. Yeah, yeah of course. You are. Um, maybe you're hungry? Should I get you some food? Maybe you're hungry. Should I get you some food? I have tuna. It's not hungry, I suppose. Oh, okay. Are you trying to tell me something, Kitty? What's so interesting about this old cage? Oh, what? There's another dead hamster. There's two dead hamsters. Judging by the pink collar, I can only assume- Who puts collars on their hamsters? Pick up dead hamster. If I can avoid it. Okay. Okay. What the hell am I doing? To the computer lab. Where are you off to now? Dude, I will follow a cat. I, like, I used to do that. I used to live in the middle of the forest and my cat would like wander the woods and I would follow that cat. <laughs> I don't know, there's something like mystical about it. Nothing ever happened, of course. Except for one time I got stuck in brambury bushes or blackberry bushes, but you know, I had fun. But what if I had like a Ghibli moment, you know, I get transported to another world, you know, I'm not gonna pass that up. And then I get older and now I have like the not cool isekai is where like you get whisked away to a world that just wants to see you die. <laughs> like everything was so much nicer when I was a child. Wee. Let's go bury a body. Let's go bury a body. Let's go bury a body. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Rest in peace, old guys. I don't know why this cat was super wanting that, but okay. Two lovers sleeping forever in a shared grave. Oh, like me and my husband. I wish I was this lucky. Oh, wait, that's right. He I'll died before her. Probably just have worms with me in the coffin. Hey, JV. Munching on my carcass. <laughs> and spiders. Horrible, fucking spiders. I don't think spiders God are damn. underground. <laughs> we covering I'm up really murdering not ready and for any of this. I just buried two hamsters. I did not Should murder we? these hamsters. I don't want to die. So, um... In this game, to sum it up really briefly, uh, she's a nurse. She was taking care of a patient who had cancer, and then she got married to the said man because she really loved him, and he died anyways. And so, 
she was all devastated and then she got word that she also has cancer in its last stage and she was going to end it all unfortunately or fortunately uh her ending it didn't work out very well and so she took this job that requires her to go out into the middle of the country to take care of this old man um and now she's following a cat summarize you know i'm telling you this because you're a cat and cats know about these things. Yes, they do. <gasps> pet the cat. Pet the cat. You can take the key later. Just pet the cat. Meow. Oh. <gasps> pet the cat. Pet the cat. <laughs> I'm going to pet the cat three times. You know, why would you not? Oh, my cat actually just left. Macha. You want to come be on me lap? Okay, now I'll take the key. <laughs> okay, take key. <laughs> what if it just swatted Thank and hit know. me? Oh god, please don't be the key to the basement. Or maybe it's the key to the shed. Wait, what'd that say? It... It was easy. It wasn't easy, but I finally got it. Now, I bet a very special key like this opens a very special door somewhere. <laughs> Fuck, I knew it. It's not the shed. It's the one in the basement. No! I'm gonna save before I go up there. Okay, if people are actually designing their house to have red lights in it, shame on you. You are asking for people to be terrified in the middle of the night. <laughs> save of course you have lung cancer so your save points are ashtrays great i think it's making a point though that she doesn't care she only has six months to live she's done okay let's all go to the basement let's all go and perish let's open the spooky door full of whispers and other bad things jesus why am i doing this me in real life would never. I would never. Okay. There's a strange sound. Shit. I want to walk through it, not close it. Can't see anything. Oh, thank God. <gasps> I can't go back. I can't go back. Can I please point my flashlight up? I can hear the sound of footsteps from behind the door. I can hear the wind gently blowing on the other side. I can hear the sound of footsteps from behind the door. This, you know, hospital equipment. I can smell soak, sm smoke, something's burning. There's no sound coming from this door. An ancient corpse of a woman is bound by dry roots. This is what I'm talking about. This game gets really weird so fast. There's metal rods sticking out of her abdomen and a piece of paper. What could it be? I, I don't know. Take it. Here lies a path to Burnhouse Lane. With the blue sky above you, whisper, I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Something splashing on the other side of the door. One of the boards is loose. The gap is too narrow to pry with my fingers. Takes grab. As the reptile's gaze falls upon you, ask her, is this the end? What? Plug in electrical cable. Okay. I hate this noise. I hate this noise. There's a strange sound coming from behind the door. Examine. 
It looks like a button, but what does it do? The door feels hot to the touch. Oh, it restarted me. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Okay, uh, uh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, okay. <clears throat> Here lies the path to Burnhouse Lane. One, with the blue sky above you, whisper. Okay, so I need to find a door with a blue sky? Well, this one has an alligator. That one has nothing. <gasps> blue sky! Open. Whoa. I'm only afraid of dying. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. This can't be real. Uh, the next one was the reptile, which is the alligator. Right? As the reptile's gaze falls upon you, ask her, is this the end? Is this the end? What's in this door? Footsteps. Is it gonna be the same dude? Fire. Body bag. Uh, whatever that is. I hate that noise. And fire. Let's just push this button, I guess. Oh, another scrap. I thought, yeah. I absolutely love the imagery in this game. It's so good. Okay. With these words, pray to the gods at the altar of sun to give myself to you. The sun, that would be the very last one with the, the fire. Other fire. <laughs> this one. I give myself to you. I give myself to you. <gasps> Why do I want to go to burn house lane? There's no way someone built all this under the farmhouse. <sighs> Fuck. Is all the fire and smoking supposed to represent the fact that she's lung cancer and she smoked, like, no tomorrow? Because it kind of looks like a cigar. That's loud. <gasps> Wait, that's a famous statue, isn't that? What the fuck? That's a famous statue. I just don't remember what statue that's of. Is this bodies? There's a light up there through the what looks like a manhole. Back 
to normalcy. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop, I'm covered in the blood and there's some bad body bags. <laughs> I almost said bag bodily. <laughs> oh, burn house lane. Took a while to get here. <laughs> burn house lane. Why did I want to be here? When do I get an AK-47? <laughs> Does that say... SRAM? SRAMs? What's the light on? Okay, so I can go in there. And go in there. Dumpster diving. It stinks so bad. These rubbish bins haven't been emptied for a long time. Gibson and Kidders? Locked. 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 Okay. Oi, 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 oi. Gents? Or ladies. Why did it zoom in? Burnhouse Park. There's tons of barbed wire and chains all around. Cherry Blossom Charity Shop. Raj Kebab House. It's one of those greasy Indian takeaway restaurants. Okay. This is a lot bigger than I thought, but let's go into the women's bathroom. Even though the noise is terrifying in front of it. Open door. Oh, door's locked. Okay. Door's locked. Okay, Whew, just making sure. Um, you know, over in England, I was really surprised. There's actually uh, turnstiles in front of a lot of the public bathrooms where you have to pay, like, a few, a few coins before you can use the restroom. Uh, I got caught by that often. And then a lot of locals would just tell me, ah, just step over it. And I was like, oh, okay. Ooh, it can actually go inside. Shouldn't just leave food out like this. You have a vending machine for your fucking drinks? Actually, wait, those are real... No, they're not. They altered some of the soda labels, I think. I can kind of see Coke, but it looks like it says Poke. But the one that says Sprite definitely says Shite. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Dude, I want. I know you don't know how. I want a kebab. Please, I'm almost done here. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this last portion. Are you naked underneath that? You a smoker? Fancy a smoke while you wait. Go ahead. That ashtray is there for a reason. He's naked you underneath want that. Me to smoke in a restaurant. I really wouldn't go as far as calling it a restaurant, darling. <laughs> Actually, you know what? A cigarette sounds great. I will have one. That's all right. Okay, his art style right here looks like some of the older games' art styles. Like a little bit more cut and pasty. Game saved. What the fuck? What is that? The person down there. Talk. Job's done. Now, how may I help you? Can you not swing that? Is there someone? Axe at me, thingy. Just the sword, black the yes. knife. Well spotted. It's Ruby, my girlfriend. She's always there. Ruby. She has quite an appetite for a girl. I know. We're already on a third roll of meat today. Where does it all go? I'm kind of worried about what the meat so is now. She just sits down there eating kebabs all day. Kebabs. 
Yes, she does enjoy my doner kebab quite a bit. All my girls do. I mean, is doner kebab a real thing? Because I just keep thinking of the doner party. That's what they sign up for, and that's what they get. And I get cannibalism feels. No fooling around. I hate that so much. Just the good old meat. Okay, he's wearing pants at least underneath that. Well, uh, as long as she's okay down there. She's more than okay. I don't want to piss him off. This is probably the safest place on Burnhouse Lane, if you ask me. Especially since the Destiny incident. Oh, Destiny. Huh? I'll never forgive myself for that. Burnhouse Lane. How did I end up here? Judging by the smell, you crawled out of the sewer. <laughs> well, excuse me. No Oh, okay. But I was in a house in the countryside. No cities around for miles. Just hills and fields. And then... Listen, I Are those don't want keys? to be rude, but that's just none of my business. I feel like I want to grab those car keys. Like you stop by this place. They always ask questions. Try to understand. They say, where are we? Where's everyone else? Why, Why me? me? <laughs> But I don't have any answers, and I'm not even interested in finding them. I'm just a kebab guy from Burnhouse Lane, and for five ninety nine, I'll make you a nice doner kebab. Do you want one? Do I have money? I'll eat when I get home. Hi, Tappy. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Darling, I'm just an ordinary kebab guy. You really want the bother of remembering my name? Yeah, why not? Yes. Yes. Well, you can call me Omar, but I bet you won't even remember ah, that tomorrow. Like the Pikmin guy. Shit. You won't even remember that in 20 minutes. I'll remember it because of the Pikmin oh, guy. Then you get one large doner kebab on the house. Yes! <laughs> but really, I just don't care. Oh, okay. You mentioned someone called Destiny. Who's that? Destiny. She was... She was the love of my life. Lived down in the basement, same as Ruby now. But Destiny... There's something really creepy oh, about this picture. Destiny made my heart beat like a drum. You know, boom, ta -da boom, ta -da boom. <laughs> That's cute. So special. So beautiful. So big. What? She was able to eat twice the meat other girls could. But then one day... Let me guess. She had a change of heart and went on a diet. Please don't explode. No, no. She got so big and strong that one day she just smashed the hatch, climbed the fuck out, and went for me like a raging bull. That's terrifying. I believe her intention was to consume me like a delicious morsel. That is so scary. So anyway, she surely would have torn me to pieces if I hadn't crawled in the freezer to hide from her. Which means she's somewhere. Then she left, and I've not seen her again. It's kind of your own fault. It's all these kebabs. Well, don't say that. I'm not surprised she lost her mind. You don't understand. She loved it. She begged me to feed her. But by the end, I wasn't able to satisfy her cravings for meat anymore. It was never enough, and she was always hungry. Okay. What do you think will happen to her now? She roams the park nearby. Fuck! She is outside! I hear screaming sometimes late at night. No! I have to That's fight that! Feeding on some unlucky passersby. No! No, 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 no! Oh, darling destiny. There's not much of humanity left in her. If any at all. So there are other people like me. You found this place? I see them sometimes, not very often. It's funny, but you all smell the same. No offense. Rude. What do you mean? Smell of what? Sickness. Oh. Yeah, because well, we're all dying. I'm not staying here. How do I get back? You sure you want to go? Yeah, I got an old dude to take I care of. I could put you up with Ruby. She won't mind. Bruh. That's very kind of you, but... There's someone at home who I'm supposed to be watching. I hate how the 
countertop. I'm get in trouble if I'm not back before dawn. The side of the counter looks like I a see. face, and I hate it. Well, I won't stop you then. But hey, I just remembered something that might help you. Yeah. Last week, I heard cats making noise over at the old clock museum. And cats know things we don't. They're the only ones who can slip in and out of Burnhouse Lane whenever they want. Oh god, I wish okay. I was a cat. I'll try the clock museum. How do I get there? <laughs> That's the problem, you see. Don't you say it's through the park. I can't okay. get there anymore. Why not? Don't say it. Remember when I told Fuck! you about Destiny? How she roams the park? <laughs> Well, that's where the clock museum is. I don't want to go right in the there park! On her feeding grounds. <laughs> what if I decided to go to the park? I went past it earlier. I'm pretty sure the gate was locked. <laughs> that gate's always locked, but there's a way in through the public toilets. They're right next to the park. You can take the toilet's key. There. Thanks. Oh, that's a bathroom key. I thought that was a car key. Just bring it back later. I'll need it for the customers, and if you see Destiny, just run. She's strong, she's aggressive, but she's also clumsy. You can dodge her if you're swift enough, <laughs> but if she grabs you... I won't let her grab me. I hate being chased Good. by things! I'd be sad to see your pretty face turned into Lachmajum. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I guess it's time to meet my destiny. New objective added. Oh, leave. Well, cool. I kind of want to save because that was a long conversation. I'm going to smoke right in front of you, dude. Whew. Great. Oh, she's gone. 